Good morning, ESM. Hope everybody has a wonderful day today. Here are some of our top stories. President Biden announced that he will withdraw troops in Afghanistan after speaking with former Presidents Obama and Bush. It is not determined whether or not Bush agreed with him, while Obama publicly applauded him. Biden plans to withdraw all 2,500 troops. Former President Trump originally had a deal with Taliban to bring troops back by May 1st, but Biden extended it due to the increase of unclear terror threats spreading across countries including Africa and Asia. Yesterday, former Minnesota police officer Kim Potter, who fatally shot Dante Wright, was arrested on a ch charge of second-degree manslaughter a day after she had resigned from the Brooklyn Center Police Department. She bounded about $100,000 bail and is due to appear in court today. She faces a maximum possible prison sentence of 10 years if convicted. Complicating the issue that is unfolding at the same time as the trial of former Minnesota police officer Derek for the murder of George Floyd that set off the Black Lives Matter movement last summer. In Onondaga County, a sudden rise in syphilis cases is urging people to get tested in the area. There were reported 28 ca cases of syphilis in the first three months of 2021. According to Dr. Indu Gupta, while our focus is on addressing the COVID-19 pandemic, we cannot forget the other public health concerns in our community. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What are y'all? All right, I got an announcement for you. Seniors, we need your photos. Submit your photographs through Saturday, uh, May 1st at 4 p.m. Photographs must be submitted to the following email address to be included in this year's Senior Variety Show slideshow. svsesm21 at gmail.com. Again, that's svsesm21 at gmail.com. You have the subject line, your first and last name, and you can submit as many photographs as you want. Reminder, Senior Variety Show rehearsals this week Tuesday, April 13th, 6 to 7.30 in person. Wednesday, April 14th, 6 to 8, 6.30 to 8, sorry, virtual. Thursday, April 15th, 3.45 to 5 in person. Check the Senior Variety Show classroom for details. And if you haven't joined, join the classroom using code JKD6NCU. Vito's Restaurant is located close to the village of East Syracuse and across from BJ's, BJ's Wholesale Club. They're looking for a couple of bussers. In, if interested, please see Mr. Avellino ASAP. And now, weather. Good morning everyone. Well right now may feel sunny and warm, later today there is a chance of rain showers and most of the day will remain this cool temperature. Tomorrow the temperature will remain the same and there's also a chance of a flurry or two. Over the weekend it will warm up to the mid 50s while Saturday will have sun and clouds and Sunday will have a chance of rain showers. As for next week, each day will have, will cool in, sorry, will have cool to warm temperatures with rain. I'm Emily with your weather. The boys volleyball team has an upcoming game against Central Square at home. The girls volleyball team beat Oswego 3-1 last night. In the NBA, the Philadelphia 76ers beat the Brooklyn Nets 
123 to 117. Joel Embiid had 39 points in the victory for the 76ers, and Kyrie Irving had 37 points in the loss for the Nets. The Golden State Warriors beat the Oklahoma City Thunder 147-109. Steph Curry had 42 points and shot 11 of 16 from the three. A man is, ch is pressing charges against Defensive Player of the Year Aaron Donald after the victim was assaulted at an after-hours club over the weekend. I'm Tanner Lee Sports, and from everybody here at The Morning Show, hope you have a great day.